Traffic and air pollution is a huge problem around the world, especially here in Mexico. We at Audi believe in the capability of technology to shape the future. Formula E stands for technical innovation and the calendar takes us to exciting places around the world. At every race, Audi looks for exciting projects and startups in the region that are cutting edge of technology in protecting the environment. Today, we are here at Biomitech in Mexico to look at their innovative BioUrban 2.0, an artificial tree that offers some exciting possibility in the race for clean air. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you Daniel. doing? Hi. Daniel, Orlando, nice to meet you. Hi, Orlando, Lucas. Lucas, nice, to meet, nice you. to meet you. Let me show you some of the things we have. Biomitech is a company with the idea of using the power of nature in order to counteract the harmful effects of global warming. Air pollution kills around 7 million people every year. Also, it's contributing to global warming. Our lifestyle is in risk. We don't turn around nature, and why not using tech in order to provide better optimum conditions for the people? All of our products come with a extraction system which allows to pull all the pollution from the environment. And then once these gases are inside the system, they are in contact with microalgae. What's the main pollutant? Is CO2? Is that CO CO2? You also NOx, but it's very bad, and particulate matter, and also organic compounds, those that emitted oh, by fuels. Okay. When the gases are dissolved into the water, microalgae eats them, gets reproduce them, and so there is a moment in which we have to drain the system to take the dense microalgae, which is already saturated. This biomass is a is a raw material that we can use to create bioenergy or biofuels, or you can produce biofertilizer. So this the idea is addressing the problem of air pollution while providing raw material for biofuel. So it's a circular economy model. So how much uh, carbon it pulls a day? We can say that 3,000 cubic meters per hour of not only CO2, but also NOx, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter 10 and 2.5. And so this is the equivalent of how many trees, more or less? Right here, you have 368 uh, pine trees. If you plant a dozen of these, it's as if you plant a, a forest, let's say. I mean, that's it's, it's a concept that we are working on, bringing the forest to the city with lots of these. So let's plant the forest now. Let's, let's plant the forest too. <laughs> well, congratulations. Uh, it's a great way of getting the air quality better.